Okay, we are now live. Let me go ahead and get the stuff for Twitter and would somebody be able to do an at everyone for the stream in uh, Discord, please, if it's possible? Done. Oh. Just get a show. <laughs> Thought it was a dog in here. Damn. My blunderbuss is out of control. <laughs> Ain't no party like a blunderbuss party. I got an extra if you want to join the party. <laughs> I'm alright with my bow. Uh, and agility tree. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Oh man, my mouse movement is out of control here. That's this my game. My invert mouse got turned off too. I think when you play like other games, this game just feels like out there. Whew. Streams. There we go. Okay. Ah, uh, cement mixer. Let's get this baby rolling. All right. Uh, can you make a second forge for us? Yeah. Okay, Kodos cool. is not allowed to have guns from now on. Yeah, I know, right? You <laughs> what? You can't be trusted. I got three guns. Oh, I got geez. three God, of these babies. God help us all. God help the zombies. They're gonna need it. That's not what I was thinking. I was thinking God help our wall. <laughs> the way, <white> way, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, the range on this is only like what two feet, so I'll just I'll stand back from the walls. Do we have a drop chest? Uh, the two sitting on the uh, the bar. They look pretty organized to me. Kind of, but uh, yeah, they're they're basically it for now. Okay. We need to get like a, a full set of uh, uh, chests up. Actually, I'm gonna sell that. Uh, eh. <laughs> Loving the arcade games in the background. I feel like hanging at your house would be a blast. Hell yeah, man. Got freaking <laughs> dope games behind me. All right, what do I want to put in there? Let's put that in there, that, I'm gonna sell that. Might we need some pipes, damn it, I don't remember where the pipes are. I think they're here, yes. I know I put, oh yeah, it was over here. This is the stuff we sell. Why aren't the lights on? We need there an automatic timer. Uh, yeah, we need, um, a timer relay. The trader shit box is empty. What's up with that? I must have sold everything. Am I selling any of this other stuff? No. N. O. Got me an M60. This thing's freaking oh, dope, even if you're not specced in it. Kodos is the thrall. <laughs> Shh. That's funny. I was thinking that at the beginning. <laughs> I was going to say, hello, thrall. <laughs> oh, oh I, I look at this. I'm even carrying the bone charm in my hand right now. <laughs> yes, here comes the blizzard. Yeah. Candles Sorry, are on their way. We haven't moved the ship yet. <laughs> I was talking about that Dread Hunger game, right? I was like, what the hell are these guys talking yes. about? <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're playing it last night. So it's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, got yeah. it two times in a row. 
I'm not I'm not good at being a thrall yet, but I'm getting there. Yeah, we have to yeah, do a game had, for it. I'm learning. He was having trouble stabbing his hand with the bone. <laughs> All right. Uh, clay, leather, duct tape, and short iron. Clay, leather, duct tape, and short iron. Uh, leather, duct tape. I don't see any clay. That's going to be in the forge box. Uh, I think it, most of it's probably cooking, if not all of it cooking right now. Can't make another forger out clay. Yeah, uh, you can just pull it out of there. Um, sure, iron pipes. You want multiple forges? How many more you want? Um, yeah, two more would be good. All right. If we if we get we if we've got three going, then we can separate them out as to what they're doing. Cage, I've been watching you since South 14. I've always enjoyed. Uh, I'm sorry, and I have always. And I always have loved uh, this. The um, the font on YouTube is not as crisp as as the Twitch. Uh, always love uh, to praise this game as the best survival game hands down. Yeah, I mean it's the, it's the best survival game hands down. You know, uh, Daryl, thank you very much for the super chat. Yo, yo, Cage, good to see you and the gang. Good to see you too, man. Or am I doing any more single player? Let's play this game. Uh, definitely by Alpha Twenty. You know. And if we ever decide to move on to another multiplayer game, I could always start a single player game. Who knows? That's it. People like want me to like make plans and stuff and like let them know what what the future holds. I don't know. You know, like a lot of people are like, "Hey, you should let us know when you're going to end a series." I'm like, "I never know." You know what I mean? Like I, I sometimes I think I'm going to end a series and I decide against it and it keeps going. Could you imagine if like, "Oh, this series is going to end." And then I keep doing it. It's like People won't be expecting it, oh. you know, so. Oh, Risha, what happened? Oh, I was just outside having fun. <laughs> Did she die? Dang. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good times had by all. <laughs> all right, so what is next on the agenda? Put down forges. Oh, we got a naked Alrisha running around now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, demonetized. <laughs> yep. <laughs> as much as I enjoy having 69 likes, guys, we gotta get that number up there. Those are rookie numbers. Make sure to like the video. <laughs> What happened to this land is my land playthrough. It was a really good series, but um, yeah, this land is my land. This land is my land is not really my type of game, but you know, I kind of enjoyed it. But then when people weren't watching, it, I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta move on to something else. PC Italian is all about dread hunger. Must have a lot of Italians in it. Forget about it. Does Dreadhunger have a lot of Italians in it? Forget about it! Actually, when I think of pirates, I don't think of Italians. I think of, I don't know, Johnny Depp, I guess. <laughs> Alright, do I have any points to spend? I do. I do. Uh, yeah, we need to start going for mini bike and motorcycle. Although, I guess, the thing is, I don't have to put points into these. Because, oh... There needs to be something that lets you use less resources on tires. That's a problem. But if I put points in these, I'll use less resources on the, you know, making them and stuff. But I think I want to be better with the stun baton. Or robotics inventor. Yeah, let's go ham with the freaking turrets. Why not? Oh, apparently Uther loves it too. Alright, cool. I'm thinking that's what we'll probably play next Saturday. I need some XP. So let's go ahead. Yeah, okay. Take 
that. Uh, take that. Take that. Take that. Are you doing Empyrean again? I'm waiting for 1.5. Because everyone kept telling me, you know, once 1.5 comes out, you're going to have to restart. Kept telling me. So I was like, all right, I'll just wait for 1.5. Oh, yeah, look at all this stuff. What happened to Breath Edge? Oh, God. That's a, <laughs> I don't know. Nothing. Actually, you know what? Let's put those back. And then let's take this. Can you blow your base up for a goodbye episode? Oh, for what? What's up with Osiris and the other space one? Um, Osiris kind of, I don't know, man. It's just like, I don't know. Yeah, Strand Deep is dope. Loving Strand Deep. Alright, so let's get... Where are we keeping tools? Oh, right over here. Tools in the box below, mods for the tools box above. I'm just getting the stuff sorted now. There's only one tool in there. Yeah, because the stuff hasn't been moved over yet. <laughs> where's, where's the claw hammers and shit? Uh, if they're if they're anywhere, they're probably in the drop boxes still. Hmm. If they're not in there, then they probably don't exist. There's no way we don't have a claw hammer. See if we have any quests. Is my phone failing or is the stream not started? So I'm going to let John know that the stream is started. Maybe refresh. Man, stamina comes back slow. Maybe I need to drink something. Jason, Jason Rushby, thank you for the super chat. Um, instead of just leaving a series, you should blow up the building. Oh, I see what you're saying, yeah. Well, no, that's what I'm saying, though. I never know when a series is going to end. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes I think I'm going to end a series and I don't. And sometimes I don't think I'm going to end a series and I do. So there's, there's no plans for that stuff. I just kind of got to, you know, 
go with what was working on YouTube, you know what I mean? What are you working for, PC Italian? It's freaking nighttime, man. You need to go home. Unless you're, uh, you know, doing some gangster shit. Working for the mob. Everybody's gangster until PC Italian shows up. Okay, first time seeing this game. How the heck did I miss the first two? You mean first time seeing the series, or...? What's up, Lord Tar? Oh, it's 3 p.m. So what, man? Get off work early. What are they gonna do? Oh, uh, PC time, you can't leave. You got more work to do. Hey, forget about it. My wife's making me some gabagool. Move to the right side of the country. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Watching you in Game Edge helped me when my wife uh, passed away too. Oh my god, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> oh man. That's what you get. Yo, so it's, it's time to leave, capiche? <laughs> no, no. The, the proper answer is, now you can't leave. Who can tell me what that's from? Just delegate the work to Tony or Vinny. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely loving the Strand of Deep Let's Play with the New Islands. Yeah, man, like, the people who make the islands are really talented. Those islands are great. I actually tried a new one in uh, tomorrow's video. frustrated spider out there beating on a wall yeah we need to get some spikes around that place especially if we're going to be yeah. running so many forges and making some screamers yeah for sure once upon a time in brooklyn no i know it i know it, it's it's kind of like that close Once upon a time in Brooklyn. <laughs> Sounds like, oh, like the book version of it. <laughs> it, was, it was the Bronx Tale. Yeah, right? Bronx Tale. Yeah. Once upon a time in Brooklyn. That's fucking classic, man. I love that. This game looks ancient. Is it popular? Should I get into this now? Well, uh, you, you answer my question, Slayer. Do you like survival games? How could you think this game looks ancient? This, is, this looks fucking dope, man. Look at these guys. Using stun baton in my current playthrough, doing strength and in intelligence build, sex rex. Yeah, I'm st I'm liking the stun baton. Cage once uh, played together on a seven day dice server back in the Skype days. Uh, we played on, we played one evening for six, seven hours with other people. Good times. Was not uh, streaming on, uh, probably not streaming on, um, on Twitch. Thank you, John. Found potato seeds. In case we don't have any potatoes being grown. Oh, sweet.
created a separate medical box for you, Risha, so you don't have to keep it all in the ingredients. <laughs> Thanks. I have played some Monica and Valheim and Terraria. I love them all. This game has zombies and stuff. I've only played Days Gone before with the zombie theme. Well, uh, Valheim is in my top five. Uh, but Subnautica, yeah. Uh, my, my top five survival games are Seven Days to Die, um, The Forest, and then the last three are kind of, you know, kind of all the same as far as how much I like them. Um, Imperion, Valheim, and probably Stranded Deep. I'm really enjoying Stranded Deep quite a bit. Twenty games are in your top five. Yeah, I mean, my top five kind of moves around a little bit. Although, to be fair, Seven Days to Die, The Forest, and Imperion have been consistently in my top five. Project Zomboid? I, I can't. Like, I'm not a graphics whore. Like, I'm really not. And I'll be the first one to say graphics don't matter, but I, I have a hard time with that game's graphics. And it's not only the graphics. The gameplay is really stiff in that game. Um, but if you want a, like, a realistic survival game, that's like... Top of the line. Like, it's one of the most realistic survival games I've ever played. What's up, sidekicks? Gary Clutterbuck <laughs> has just joined the Cage Crew. Congratulations, man. Thank you very much for that. Have you played Ark? Series? You mean like A R K, like Ark, like Dinosaur Ark? Is that what you mean? Which game is the most realistic survival game? Oh, the most realistic survival game I've ever made, from my opinion, is Project Zomboid. Like, that game is super, super realistic. Um, Ark is a great game. Uh, oh, <laughs> that could have gone very poorly. Oh, God! Damn you! Oh yeah? You wanna fuck around? Taste my M60. What now? I didn't f I didn't fall in here with you. You're in here with me. Punk ass friggin' zombies and your stupid trap floors. Suck on that, unfun pimps. Am I right? <laughs> hey, Kodos, when you get a sec, can you come to Horde Base and I ask you something? All right, sounds good. I'll uh, head over in one hour and 27 minutes. Fair enough. <laughs> Don't need to die at night again. Once was enough. <laughs>
Ark is just time consuming. No, like when you play Ark, you set up like don't play with Ark, the general settings on Ark. They're stupid. Uh, you you got to turn everything up and turn it up a lot. That's what I did, and it was a lot of fun. I I was doing a let's play series uh, with Games for Kicks. He was running a server, and he uh, turned up all his settings and stuff. It was much better. I never played Seven Days to Die. It's always looked ugly to me. Maybe I'm too accustomed to nice graphics. Well, I mean, fair enough. But uh, this is the best survival game ever made. So if you like survival games, you're really missing out. Where's my bike? There it is. I don't understand how people think this game looks so ugly. I don't know what game they're looking at. I mean, I guess, like, the buildings and stuff could kind of look ugly. But when the zombies are up in your face, they look really good. They've done a good job on the zombies in recent, you know, updates. Besides, it's a voxel game. Like, that's... Like, when I say, like, gameplay over graphics, that's what I'm talking about. Um, this is, like, the best, like, voxel <laughs> uh, survival game ever made, that's for sure. And, uh, like, when, when everything in the game is destructible, they, they can't give it, like, the graphics of, you know, I don't know, whatever game you think looks really good. They can't do that in a game in voxel environments where, like, everything's destructible. So, I'm cool giving up that little bit of graphical detail to have a, a more, like, um, I don't know, malleable world where you can really just do whatever you want. Did it actually pop up? I was waiting for them to to pop up. Did, did it pop up and I missed it? Well, uh, Jorma Kalunki, Kalunki, uh, thank you very much for joining the Cage Crew. Legendary Survivor, hell yeah. I was waiting for I saw it on this screen, but usually I, when I see it on that screen, it pops up on the other screen, like for you guys, but I didn't. Must have missed it. Well, thank you, Charn. Mm -hmm. Oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> I'd love to see you turn to your roots. Minecraft has come... Dude, I tried Minecraft, like... Like, I don't know, six, maybe a year ago or something? Like, nobody cared. Like, Minecraft is established. People have people <laughs> they like to watch for Minecraft, and it's hard to get in on that game. Especially the way I play Minecraft. Like, who plays Minecraft the way I do? I play Minecraft like a, you know, a survival game. I start from the beginning and I build up. Whenever I look at Minecraft videos, they're all, like, just crazy mini games and stuff. Just, it's not really Minecraft. Or they're, like, flying around. Like, I was playing Minecraft with, um, with Eugene on a server and like like me personally like whatever the server's for everyone so like uh it is what it is but like once everyone started getting wings and flying around i was just like yeah it just felt like really small it felt like a really small world at that point yes like mine carts or die <laughs> what's that mine carts or die <laughs> yeah mine carts or die that's right i agree What's up, Boxer Mom? Anyone want to hit up the uh, Shaka Messiah? Already. Let's Ooh. get our stone tools. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll do it. No, not if we all go together. Isn't, like, doesn't the loot... Wait, is loot based off the amount of people in the area, just like zombies? Because that would be kind of bullshit if it wasn't. Because, like, think about it. You're going to a building. If there's five of us, that building is going to generate mobs based on our... Or is that just game... Is that just for Horde Night? Because uh, we got some... I was fighting a biker on day one, so mm -hmm. I'm assuming that's... 
I don't know. Let's see. I gotta hit the trader before we go anyway, so. This piece of crap. I need a better vehicle. This thing sucks. <laughs> Sidekicks, thank you for the super chat. Uh, bought stock in AMC a few months ago. Figured I'd share one of my tendies. Uh, you've been my favorite YouTuber for four years. Missed your last day on Earth video. Oh my god, last day on Earth. Oof. I haven't played that one in a long time. Last Day on Earth is a mobile game, but it was actually really good on... Well, I downloaded a, a, an emulator so I could play it on the PC. It was a really good game, and then they, they just started getting greedy. Like, they started, like, just grind... Like, you have to get a motorcycle to get to another part of the map, and I grinded that game for months. Never got the last piece of the motorcycle. I'm like, come on, guys. And the worst part about that game is, like, when you paid money to buy stuff, you were basically, like, hitting a slot machine. You weren't even guaranteed to get the thing you needed. So I was like, this game's been really fun, but it's not really going anywhere because I can't, I can't move on because, you know, never getting the motorcycle piece. Nope, this is multiplayer. Okay, now it makes sense. Did Kevin's pop up yet? Whatever. I'm just going to start saying thank you whether it pops up or not. Uh, Kevin upgraded his membership to Legendary Survivor. Hells yeah. Thank you very much, Kevin. I'm getting ready to do that um, Cage Crew stuff uh, probably next week. I usually wait for like the first week in the, in the month to make sure everyone's got their, you know, their things in so everybody gets you know, their names on whatever it's supposed to be on. What's up, Pitbull Razor? Yeah, from now on, when I see them in chat, like on the left side, I'll just thank them. So in case they don't pop up over here, it's not not that big of a deal. Oh, Risha, I welcome your input as well. What's that? I was marking it. You're marking it? All right. Yeah. Good idea. Try and decide what to do with the floor and the ceilings and on the edge. Like, should we have like a line of bars so we can shoot down? We could uh, just have like one or two trap doors open and shoot down. Stuff like that. I was surprised. I was like, wait a minute, this is huge. Whoa. <laughs> Last time I saw it, it was, it was just uh, wood a blocks. <laughs> a, a fledgling base. Yeah. <laughs> a prototype. Yeah. All right, where's that stupid traitor? All 
All right, yeah, so come on up here. Wait for uh, Kojus to get up enough nerve to come over here. Yeah, I'm on my way. <laughs> I, had to, I had to finish finish getting stuff cooked into the forge. What is your stance on pickles, yes or no? Uh, yes, I really like pickles a lot, actually. I also like pickled eggs. I like pickled eggs. I try making them from home, but I, you know you need a lot of different ingredients. You can't just put them in a jar of vinegar. They don't come out right. My next point's got to go in sexy Rex. No joke. So here's what I'm thinking. Um, we could put some iron bars right here if we want to shoot down, or we could just put a trap door right here, or maybe even one right here. Is it worth it? it? Is it worth to buy in 2021? What pickles? Yeah, pickles are just as good in 2021 as they were in 2020. And then for the roof, do we want iron bars for the roof, or do we just want to fill it in? Because we're coming up here, and as they're going across, we can either be down there or up here shooting out from them. This will stop any. Spider zombies, if they can make it up here. I would say yes to iron bars for the roof. That gives us a chance to just stay inside and shoot the vultures. Um, and then you need re railings here. You need okay. one more hatch on the walkway in, and a a bar on the top. So that stuff can't try and get um, the dogs can't try and get over the final hatch. I'm talking yeah, assuming about game. There's any actually get there. Uh this is if you like survival games, this is like just. I mean, you're asking my opinion. This is the best survival game ever made. So, yeah, if you like survival games, this is um this is where it's at. It's got you know, it's got everything a good should survival I, game should. Should we leave like a catwalk like this, or should we just put some bars out? I wouldn't bother. Um, we, we should just stay inside the entire time. I, I love the, the hatch windows. That's perfect. Because if we're not using them, we can close the hatch windows and then cops can't spit at us. What happened to Imperion right. and o uh, Osiris? So, um, Oper Imperion, I'm waiting for 1.5. And Osiris just kind of, I don't know, kind of lost me a little bit. Hatch windows then. Yeah, those are, yeah, that is great. Uh, the floor... I would have some bars the others filled in. Just just enough bars that you can kind of look from each angle to see if somebody's beating on the walls below and shoot them. Shouldn't happen, but if it no. does, it gives us the opportunity to shoot down. And then we can all we can hunker in here and not have to worry about cop spit. Then lines yeah. of like one line of bars like here and then another line of bars here. It doesn't even have to be a whole line. It could be just um Three in the center. Watch me. Um, oh, oh, by the way, you, you, you guys are right. Unless we find another traitor, we're not hitting day seven today. So unless we find another traitor, I'm not getting an auger. So fill so. this in. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess I could just drive around looking here. for traitors, but that sounds kind of boring. You can see every angle from here yeah. down if they're beating on it. Okay. Yeah, this is good. All right, and then the top, you want all bars from the top? Might as well. And then or, uh, we can we can see weather. the birds coming from wherever and shoot at the them. Ordered. All right, so I'll leave the catwalk going around it, just in case. Yeah, if you want. It's not going to hurt anything. Nope. I don't want to do buried supplies. Looks good. Oh, this is the all best right. way to get to I'm really interested to watch them uh, and try run the gauntlet. Get yourself killed. Yeah, and then what we can do, like, so each of us can put down one, one sledge turret, mm -hmm. so we can fill up like five of them if we wanted to, and then we could even put some like um, electric fence post wires, you know, uh, either along it or further down and stuff just to slow them down. And it should really? Send them well, out. Okay, then. They'll probably never reach us. Um. And then the uh, the walkway ramp there. 
um, the very beginning of it, um, had those um, uh, like pyramid angled uh, like, like the, stairs. Like the top one right there. If you go up right there on your left. Yeah. Right, yeah. Put, put, put those around the sides at the bottom so that they can... You only need one layer of them so that they can they can run at it from the side, catch it, and start going up. Otherwise, they'll just beat yep. on the stairs at the bottom. All right. Hey, you could actually you could smooth that out, and you could make it one line to the bottom, and then the pyramid steps just at the bottom. Any 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 edge that they catch on, they'll. Blood Zeus, on thank it. you for the uh, five dollar or five euro, five euro super chat. Can you can you um, make me a hammer if you don't mind? Yeah, I need a hmm. hammer too. Let me head back to base. Well, there's no way I'm getting an auger today. I didn't think about that before I named the video. I didn't, re <laughs> I didn't realize we wouldn't get me beginning the day seven today. Let's, uh, let's go find a skyscraper. Maybe I'll just jump That's off right. the. Uh, I'll you just promised. Jump. Yeah, I'll just jump off the shuck and say when we get to the top of it. <laughs> yeah, you're not allowed to have the candy either. That uh, negates fall nobody, damage. That wasn't. That wasn't. I don't see anyone saying that's part of the deal. Nobody, nobody said that. <laughs> well, I, I thought kill that. myself was the uh, no. was the wording you used. No, I said jump off the. <laughs> and then I said, said I would I jump off the top of the skyscraper myself and see what what happens. Oh wait, he said oh. he said auger or die, but he wasn't specific about who was going to die. Yeah. Uh, I know Madden's taking it for the team, so. Yep. <laughs> Isn't that right? He's a good sport. Uh, no. <laughs> now, what I found, um, Kodos, is they do like find like one hole to break through on the far wall, and it's okay because they only break it like too high. And then yep. they'll all use that hole to like get out and run around again. Yeah, I would even just pre-break it open for them. Keep it simple. Keep okay. them flowing. Yeah, you only have, just uh, you could do it the the just two two blocks wide, closest to the initial ramp on that on that side, and they'll all flood to there and then run to um, the stairway. Oh, hammer. Okay. Let's see. Uh oh. It would appear we have. Have you no ever letter. tried the Undead Legacy? Uh, yeah, but like that was like Alpha 18, though. I haven't tried it for the Alpha 19. Back. We don't have any what? No leather. leather. Yeah, can't make the hammers without leather. How many do you need? There's 128. Is 128 enough? <laughs> oh. Look in this chest. <laughs> Are you using hacks? Hey. <laughs> I'm using awesome. the true sight hacks. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> 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 it's that hello cage let's do wet d beautiful game friend they, they always leave that comment on my videos all right three level five hammers coming up
Dude, you see that glass fall out of the thing? I've never seen that before. This is like strong glass. How the hell did that happen? Oh, that was weird, man. Oh, is is there a party? Oh shoot. <laughs> hey, you wanna <laughs> set it up there, Cage? What? Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> The level of the weapon makes it a little bit more effective, but what it really does is it um it lets you put more mods into it, which is what really makes it badass. Try the net. Oh, we don't have a KFC by my house. Yeah, it's okay if I miss this secret. I don't have to get every little secret in these places. Explain Empyreon? Um, space survival. Or sci-fi survival. <laughs> Shit out of me. <laughs> Make that out of a toothbrush? Is it a toothbrush shiv? I um, I made it for my one of my toenails. Okay. My favorite weapon at seven days dies probably well oh that's the gun I guess. The M60.
the lift shaft loot? I'm not sure what that means. What's up, Mean Dean? Shot that guy right in the taint. <laughs> Not happy. Where do you want the um, like forged iron and forged steel? Um, all in the basic materials. Basic, okay. Dude, when you got better bartering four, there's nothing in this game you can't get. Apparently, except for the auger. I usually get it, but I get it this time. Probably get it on day seven. Uh, I think our horde settings are all just like, you know, generic, like basic settings. Yeah, I don't know whether I was expecting a vulture or three.
Ah, oh, shit. <sighs> ah, never mind. Get Eugene a stun baton that tiny knife. He's driving me crazy. I know. He likes the agility <laughs> tree. He's he's hopeless. It's okay. It just makes me look more badass. Ready for him, then they're there.
I can't put any more points in sex sexy Rex. I need three points in strength. Which I didn't really want to do. Walter. I think not, my friend.
I got it. Watch my back. Yeah, I got you. Yep, doing the shotgun messiah. Or should we call it the blunderbuss messiah? With our <laughs> lame ass game stage. Bringing me all those level six blunderbusses? No. I'm sell them. <laughs> sell them. <laughs> oh god. A level four spear. A level five knuckle wraps. Like, what the frig, man? Because that's totally what you expect to find in a shotgun or something. Who the hell mm -hmm. thought this was a good idea? I think when the pipe weapons come in, it'll be a little more fun. Oh yeah, the blunderbuss is so really nice. Cage found the base light switch. Someone has died. Died rice. Eugene is using a tiny knife and no anger so cage will be uh, diving oh yeah no auger uh so cage will be diving yeah i'll be jumping off i didn't think that you know we wouldn't be seeing day seven today By the way, Eugene, uh, Elena's hilarious. Why? What'd she do? She sent me messages uh, over the past couple of days and yesterday. She's like, "Can Autumn play Minecraft?" <laughs> I, was like, <laughs> I was like, "Autumn work. Autumn works Monday through Friday, you know, nine to five. And she's like, "Oh." <laughs> I guess she's uh, off for uh, the holidays, which is weird because when I was in school, we used to we didn't get off till the middle of you know June, and we went back in September, like early September. But it seems like the school years have shifted since then. Hey, by the way, she came up to me and said, Hi, Eugene. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I told... Oh, that's right. No, yeah, that's... Uh, yeah, that's right. Okay, no, that's fine. I, I, I thought that was your real name for some reason. I was like, yeah. wait, that's, that's disrespectful. But I was like, oh, yeah, I told her to call you Eugene. Yeah. That's just, she's like, I'm not going to get in trouble for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get in trouble for doing anything Cage tells me to do. <laughs> What's up, Max? How's it going, bud? How many points do you need to go up another level of better bartering? Oh, quite a few. I think that's like... Intelligence 9 or something. I work 9 to 5 Monday through Friday too. Exactly. Can't be playing Minecraft.
That's right, zigzag. M60, baby. Almost out of ammo, but still alive. <laughs> What's up, David? Got plans for Horde night? Uh, that won't be till next week. They're building Horde base. That ain't my problem. I don't need to heal. Healing's for pansies. Actually, I've healed like 50 times already. What do we got up there? Uh, all big guys. All right, let me uh, sneak attack them. I do 4x damage. Yeah, let me, let me get down. All right, all right it's all you. Age is actually letting you stealth. That never happens. It's a bad, <laughs> bad stuff up here. No, I'm just gonna suicide when we get to the top of this thing. It's not. I'm not gonna get the auger today. It's refreshing to see when someone used a bow for a change. Well, complain of the fun pimps. They nerfed it into virtual uselessness. You done yet? Jeez, it's taking so long. The stun baton, uh -oh. I can't believe it. Uh -oh. Woke him up. Stand up. <laughs> Not there, awake. I got this. So get oh man! <laughs> I was about to end it with the awesome blunder bus. <laughs> Whatever, do machete build? Isn't that in the uh, the agility tree? The agility tree is trash. I ain't touching it. Yeah, it is. Be, not, be nice if you get. Machete's a little earlier, so we can actually start using the real weapon. Watch your back. games these bitches
Got any candy on you? Yeah. Stealth is good, but everyone has a preference. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I just, not for me. get steel from this box we have a thing at home so oh yeah there we go Are you using heavy armor or light armor? I'm light. Okay. Scrap boots is better than iron boots. Give me a break. God, that's annoying. Which way is the front? That way. Okay, here we go. Level 21, sweet. Level zero! <laughs> Got down the quick way. <laughs> Wish you had a robotic sledge on you. Could have knocked <laughs> me off. Negative two game stage. I had to do it, man. I, I said I would do it, so I did it. See you later, next. Next just hung out to watch me kill myself. What a sadist. What's up, Geo? Thought you were a Twitch streamer. Yeah, I figured to try out YouTube. So... They might, they might take away my Twitch partnership, just so you guys know. 
if anyone is a subscriber to me on Twitch, just be aware of that. If all of a sudden you're not a subscriber to, any, to me anymore, it might be because I got my partnership taken away. Basically, uh, what will happen is I won't be able to um, apply for partnership again for a year. So after a year, I'm going to get, um, I'm going to go for affiliate. Because as an affiliate, you're allowed to stream on YouTube. And as a partner, you're not. I don't understand how that works, but it seems kind of dumb to me. I'd rather be an affiliate, but... How's it going, Gia? <sighs> Keep getting that experience, guys. I need to pay off this experience debt. Uh, Pig Hammer actually built me a PC and brought it here, and um, I've been trying to find time to mess around with it. Uh, I've got a lot of programs already uh, downloaded on it. I just got to do some test recordings to see, you know, what I need to do to make it work. There's a lot of little things doing YouTube that you guys don't even know about. Graduated from graduated from college, Gio. Damn, nice, dude. When I get back to base, I'm going to have to run to the bathroom really quick. Codus, it's up to you to entertain the stream. So. so well, tell me where you're uh, you're leaving your body so that... Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, uh, you're, you're a live person so that uh, we, we can take very good care of you while yeah, you're away. I know. <laughs> very good. I'm not the thrall. We need to do some more trust exercises, Kodos. <laughs> Is that a bone charm in front of me? I will not pick it up. All right, I will be right Until back. you're not looking. <laughs> oh my. What should we do? Yeah, I mean, I, I sleep. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, oh, we're getting wow. there. We're getting there. It's a slow <laughs> process. Oh, cement? No. No. Boiled by cement. Sorry. Are there any props we can put around? Oh, I need some nails. He's going to be back like any second. <laughs> Shoot. night time we gotta go work on the horde base we got food i got the last meat stew oh pumpkin okay. bread mine 
I like pumpkin. So I've been getting into a uh, vintage story a lot lately. They're um, changing some things up. Kodas, have you played Vintage Story? No. All right. <laughs> I yeah. put a sign in front of Cage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess he'll, he'll see it when he gets back. Oh, it's too close. He'll have to back up from it. <laughs> Yeah, I really yeah, like the vintage idea. survival, survival, like Go crafting, ahead. building. Yeah, think of it like the guy's inspired by Minecraft, but it's like a lot of the crafting is kind of um, immersive. Okay. So, uh, like for example, if you want to um, cook, like like do some pottery and stuff, like you actually build out the 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 clay items one voxel at a time and everything. Uh, with the clay, you're molding it now. And then afterwards, like they just added this in the newest version, you dig a hole. It's a, a pit kiln. Um, you dig a hole, you put the clay in there, fill it up with some grass, put some sticks and logs over it and light it on fire. Then you can like mass um, cook the, the pottery and stuff like that. Oh, cool. And if you're uh, making your tools, you actually nap the, uh, like the flint and stuff. So you said this is a, a voxel-based game? Yes. Mm -hmm. huh. So, and when you when you do mining, you actually have to do some prospect prospecting. <laughs> um, they don't give you a metal detector. No, you got to <laughs> no. uh, you got to go and break some blocks, and they'll tell you like the like from like the, the chance of that war being in the area and stuff like that. So. What kind of cost is this game? Oh uh, gosh, let me see what it's costing now. Uh, uh, it is 15 euros. I don't change it. Oh, there you go, US dollars. 18 bucks. Oh, not bad. No. And it's an alpha? Uh, yes. I would say so. Isn't every game nowadays? <laughs> really? I gotta put all these wrenches back. Oh, that hammer should be ready. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh... There was two level five hammers left on the bench. All right. I wonder if we should make one or two more for more workbenches, or, or if we should just wait till we loot them. We have a tools box, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, if you want any level five iron tools, pickaxe, axe, Shovel. Um, I can yes. make all that stuff too. Yeah, yes. I, I need one of each. <laughs> one of each. Same here. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll get the stuff uh, cooking up on the workbench. Okay, the first first set of three, so shovel, pickaxe, axe, are in production. That'll be about 10 minutes. When they're done, I'll throw another set on. Just got to get some more duct tape. Always running out of duct tape. Hmm. All right. Yeah, maybe we'll start up a... Server cage crew server of the vintage story. Mm -hmm. So it has this concept like the, the deeper you go on, there's like a gear cog that, that spins 
and um, the direction it spins depends on like the day area you're at and how deep you go into a mine or something like that. And if okay. it gets too deep, it turns into like this temporal, uh, war like the world shifts, like there's like a temporal shift. And you start getting all these drifters coming and attacking you and stuff. So, so I should go. Uh, I, I should take AFK breaks a little, little more often, huh? Daniel Tweet, uh, thank Ooh. you very much for the uh, extremely generous uh, super chat. Thank you. Wow, Daniel. Damn. Nice. I know, right? We'll uh, we'll take our cut for the uh, interesting <laughs> conversation while you're gone. Daniel in the <laughs> house. <laughs> All right. Did you not see the the nice sign Eugene left for you down there? No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like something the imposter would say. <laughs> By the way, for Good Saturday's job, stream, we're going to be playing. Uh, we're going to be playing um, uh, imposter game. Among us. Yeah, among um, us. Imposter game. <laughs> imposter game. All right. Eugene is the imposter game. <laughs> oh, it's it always down photos. To Eugene and, what? and one or two other people. What? That, that, that is that's crazy talk, Madden. I'll tell you, when we play that game, Dum Dum Crew is legit unstoppable until one of us is the imposter. And then we fall apart like a freaking cardboard box. Then I run room. in. I run in and kill Madden in front of you and leave you with no choice because now you're screwed. <laughs> Don't know that when we we were the uh, yeah, it was a bad we situation for me. Together. It makes it makes yep. one of us like unkillable. Totally because... didn't do that on purpose. Well, not not really actually. If they yeah. <laughs> oh boy. What's up, Smash? Better if you play it modded. Heh. <laughs> I don't know. Kind of fine with it the way it is. Finally caught the stream. Here is 50 bucks to keep up the good work. Thank you, man. That is freaking great. I can't chat so much. Sorry. Heh. <laughs> lurking is... Lurking is fine. So, I wonder how many turrets I can have down. Uh, so, this allows me to make the turrets. And I think I have an extra one. Okay, but... See, this is what bothers me about these things. Like, even with these turrets, I can't make them. Like, I mean, it's kind of ridiculous that I have, like... Robotics thingy three, and I still can't make the the turret that shoots shit. At least I don't think I can. That's the um the robotic turret. That's the one that shoots stuff, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, kind of a useless talent tree until you get the book. So if you guys get that, I don't know if that's a book or a schematic or what. You able to make two or three sledge? Yeah. Robotic sledge. Alright. Where do you guys put the schematics? Uh, I'm just gonna make a box for it now. Okay. Thank you, Smash. No, not those turrets. The you know the other turrets. These like standalone turrets.
There we go, just next to the vehicle's box from books and stuff. What's up, pig hammer? Um, yeah, I'll go check out the, uh, the Horde base. Got I'm gonna go check out the trader first. It's okay if you missed a, a good chunk of the stream. It'll be up as a video, so. Could you keep an eye out for a silencer? Yeah. Appreciate it. Well, the um the, the junk turret is like, or the, the sledge turret is like OP as hell if you have a, a walkway. I mean, it basically makes so the zombies don't have a chance, so. Especially in multiplayer, when you have like multiple people with them down. Who's died so far today? I don't know. Not me. If you are here to buy, I've got the best selection of medicine in the wasteland. Ah, nothing this time. I hope you come back and see me sometime. Yeah, the jar of coffee is a big piece of crap. At least for me, I don't I don't like it. It's funny, I don't like the gyrocopter in uh in Stranded Deep either. Because like with all the um with all the like the the loot you can fit on a, a raft. You know, a self-built raft. You, you should just make the raft. Get way more stuff on there. Gyrocopter, all you can do is carry what you have on you. Oh yeah, that's true. I did die. Well, not really, but self-inflicted. Stupid auger. I've, I've used the gyrocopter quite often. The controls are absolutely horrendous. And there's... <laughs> Shut up, Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the gyrocopter's controls are awful. It's not me having to get used to it. They're terrible controls. Fact, fact check, true. 
does his own fact checking. The, the shovel's <laughs> done if you I, if you want it there, Madden. I think you were grabbing the other ones. Um, yes, I am on. I actually have a Discord. You should join it. Thank you. Only way the um, gyrocopter is good, useful, is if you're like on a water world where there's like a lot of water and stuff. But I usually scout out my world, so it's not ever going to be the case for me. Oh, we got a witch finally show up. By the way, I've been addicted to uh, Shameless. I don't remember who told me to watch it. Someone told me to watch that like a month or two ago. And I finally started watching it like the other day. And I'm already on like season four. You mother effer. Son of a stupid freaking traitor. Go to hell, traitor. No, nah, I'm not going to get the auger today. Maybe uh, next time we play when it hits day seven. Yep. Damn trader. I think that trader has a, a motorcycle I'm gonna buy. Then Madden can have my bike. <laughs> I bought a bike. I got tired of waiting for you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's so annoying going around and, like getting all the shit. They need to like have a thing where you could just craft out of chests like in Valheim. I know there's probably a mod for that, but I don't want to deal with it. It should just be in the game. <laughs> Better bartering is OP as hell. Just because I didn't get an auger doesn't mean it's not OP as hell. You you tr you try not using better bartering and see how long it takes you to get stuff like um like crucibles and stuff. Let me know how that goes. We had one on day four. Actually, it might even have been day three. What's up, Ryu? Valheim mods got me spoiled. No way, man. So it should be. <sighs> Better bartering only kicks in level three or anything before isn't worth it. Yeah, but like you get to level three. Like like I said, I think I got to level four on day three. Or day four at the latest. Yeah, the Val I'm I'm really surprised at how fun you know uh epic loot is on Valheim. Could you imagine epic loot for this game? Where's that mod? I guess I guess on Borderlands mod was kinda like that. Was there a uh, was there a which um schematic was at the last trader? 
Was it the one I was looking for? Or I don't remember what exactly I'm looking for. Oh, was there a robotic turret at the last trader? Okay. Uh, remind me when I go back and I'll uh, grab it in the morning. I didn't see it. No, like, um, Borderlands had a lot of cool guns in it. The Borderlands mod. Why is there a freaking bear here? <gasps> Another traitor! Oh, I might get the- I might get the quest after all! Uh, I mean, the, uh, auger. Alright. Should I just kill that bear now? No, like it was it was Borderlands. Call of Duty doesn't have guns, blue guns dropping all over the place. Like color tiered guns and stuff. My weapon of choice for Zombie Apocalypse. Um I don't know, it's a good question. Crowbar's pretty good good uh good choice. Is this not my freaking bike? How do I make this my bike? Wait, why am I not? That's not, I'm not even on the bike. Yeah, that's not my bike, right? Oh, because I'm pressing the wrong button. Never mind. I'm used to pressing tab. What game? What game was I playing that tab? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's a new game going up tomorrow that none of you guys know about. Okay, never mind. It's gonna be a surprise. Is there a new Hello Kitty game? Maybe. <laughs> Hello Kitty Zombie Apocalypse. Oh, I know, this is vanilla. New to Seven Days to Die, huh? Congratulations, you are about to partake in the best survival game ever made.
Do we have a box for weapon parts? Yep, right above the uh, the weapons themselves. Uh, you just throw mods and uh, weapon parts in there. Uh, okay, it's not labeled. Gotcha. That's what the arrows are for. <laughs> I forgot to put the boxes oh, down. Oh, I thought that was like your smiley face or something. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Those are arrows. <laughs> when I put the boxes down first, I hadn't uh, switched the shape yet. And I was like, oh, damn it. So I just used arrows. <sighs> you could use a band aid, Alrisha. She's like, nah, I'm good. I'm good, bro. <laughs> yeah. No, I got one. I just, uh, for some reason, it's frozen on my screen. Oh, there we go. Yeah, how's your back doing, pig? No, I didn't, Amaranth. I just wasn't sure where it was. I don't think I want to go anywhere. I'm just going to wait until this place opens. Alright. I can't even loot anything. Oh, God. Uh, well, I guess I can just kill stuff just for the walls. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. She's probably playing Minecraft or something.
Feel like a million rounds in this thing. All right, I uh, box. Uh, remind me, like, before I go, I'm gonna check this trader, and then I'll go back to town and I'll show you. Hmm. <sighs> starting to get tired. I started going back into the office this week at work and it's weird every time I walk around with somebody out there. I'll see if I have my mask on. Arm goes back in a couple weeks. It's weird to get deprogram ourselves with a mask now. I stopped wearing mine at work. My boss keeps yelling at me. I just feel like, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot. And then like another couple hours later, I just take it off. <laughs> Did I get a point? No. Damn, man. <laughs> Why have I got any points? I don't know where I'm going for my next point. Oh, excuse me. I guess I'll just stick with intelligence to hell with it. It's pretty fun. Or is it going to take two points for your next intelligence? How many points you got in there? Uh, it's going to take two, yeah. Oh yeah, someone had to know about better bartering. Uh, I would say nine. 
Oh, no, Intellect level 10. Not worth it. Unless you're just going just Intellect, but I do want to move into uh, Perception as well. Yeah, I should probably put a point in the sexy rocks. It's just it's just annoying to have to a point in strength that I really don't care about. I was going to upgrade the base, but I was waiting for a claw hammer. And now I just, you know, I don't know. Just out here doing my thing. Should be one more claw hammer in there. Yes, I do have a cigar. That's how I have two of three points. Kits. Okay. I'll do that. So my observations on uh, Dread Hunger so far. Um, since nobody trusts anybody else, the chef's job is kind of pointless because who's going to eat his food? Because <laughs> anybody can poison the food. It's true. And as you showed, you can uh, reach through from the other uh, workbench on the other side of the wall and poison the food without even people seeing you <laughs> do it <laughs> while they're standing in front of the cooking station. <laughs> that is sneaky. And then everybody just blames the chef. <laughs> well, especially if you're the chef. <laughs> <laughs> so makeshift shotgun? What the hell is that? I could have sworn just said I can make a makeshift shotgun, but I don't see that anywhere. Oh, craft robotic turret shells. Yeah, but wasn't there something about a makeshift shotgun oh. before that? I just yeah, saw it, it on your stream. It actually yeah. did say that. Yeah, it did. So I don't know what that, what is it called? Because I put in it's make. When, it's when it, you're hovering over that one book. Yeah, yeah. it said turn, turn robotic turrets into a makeshift shotgun and then it says craft um, robotic sh shotgun shells or something like that. Yeah, I don't know what that means. It's probably um, the armor piercing ammo for uh, the robotic turret. Oh, it turns the robotic turret into it. So it's not a different turret. It's the same turret. It just makes it work like a shotgun. Magically.
porn out there. Yeah, it's okay, Mike. Mike Myers. I'll just, I'll just dick around until he's open. I don't really care that much. Shit, where'd that go? <laughs> this is how I do stealth kills. Oh shit, never mind. <laughs> I wonder if my uh, sneak attack perk would uh, actually activate for that. Do you hit him with the piece of a pipe bomb? Yeah, the pipe bomb actually got the snake. Nice. I guess that was a way to get in. Yeah, I saw the dog box. I was waiting for a dog to come kill me, but... Alright. When it's uh, 6 o'clock, I'm going to hit up this trader. I'm going to go to show the horde base, and we'll call it a, call it a stream. Still no points. How are we looking on books? Hmm, not too good. I got Tech Junkie 3 7.
Did I already do this building? I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Any food? Nope. Where's my bike? I got some food in the bike. I might I might forget Jungle Mac, but keep trying to remind me. We'll see if we'll see if you can do it. <laughs> see if you're up for the challenge. Books one and seven of Tech, tech Junkie are really good. Let's take a look. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Excuse me. Oh, I'm so tired. It's just up till two in the morning. When I got home, I just showered and crashed in bed for an hour and a half. All this With two kids? Back to work stuff. Oh my goodness. Right? Yeah, I can't believe they uh, actually let me slept. <laughs> let me in! It's 1.30 there in Ireland? Wow. That's what we call a super fan. Oh, it's doing good, Pig Hammer. I haven't had a chance to look at it since the last time we uh, worked on it, but... I got my, um, I got all my stuff over there so I can start setting it up when I get a chance. <laughs> exactly, pig hair. <laughs> exactly. It was raining. I don't know if it's raining right now, but it started pouring, like downpouring, like about 15 minutes ago. Oh my god, 3.25 a.m. Holy crap, Sean, you're making me tired and sick about it. second now it's gonna kind of suck if I get an auger because I that means I killed myself for no reason <laughs> but at least I've gotten it so then are you kind of hoping not to find it to feel justified no <laughs> aww Autumn's got an Apple watch oh I'm sorry yeah, your parents talked her into it. <laughs> her dad was like, no daughter of mine is not going to own an Apple Watch. <laughs> Steve Jobs is your lord and savior. <laughs> Buy his watch or burn in hell. 
Can confirm Steve what? Jobs is the devil. No, I can't stand Apple products. Well, that's not one. <laughs> well, look no. what the cat drew. They, I think they make them for Androids. Yeah, they do. They make other ones. But they got the little ring thingy set up. Yep, the ring thingy. Ring thingy. Oh, nice. I didn't know steel axe was in this game. I only saw that in, like, mods. You know, a few things turned up missing the other day. You don't know what are you telling me for? That, do you? Don't be freaking... Telling me stuff goes missing, I didn't steal it. Thanks for the business. We're open from dawn to dusk, since you know, we don't have clocks. Hey, Julia. Still no auger, man. That's some that's some rough luck right there. She's got fucking solar panels and no auger. Uh, popping pills might have what you were looking for. I've got another level five axe, pickaxe, and shovel crafting for whoever is still waiting on those. They'll be on the workbench. Does anyone else need them? I don't have the stamina to use them. So. Sorry, but I've never heard of a stim pack. Yeah. She said, sorry, but I never heard of a stim pack. Yeah, I'm not buying anything until I uh, check out the other trader. Because I think the other one has a... Um, I think the other one has a, uh, a motorcycle. Is anybody else looking for anything specific? Just the uh, uh, silencer. I'm, I have no glasses yet. Okay. I could use either nerd or lucky looter. Okay, so looking for glasses and a silencer. <laughs> Yeah, I can make the motorcycle, but it's a big headache. I gotta go find all the stuff and probably don't even have it all. Yeah, let me show off the horde base after this. This and then the horde base. There's the level five claw hammer sitting in the tools box for you, Cage. Thank you. And a whole lot of cement waiting for you to use to uh, upgrade and get some levels. Nice.
We're gonna have to find the desert and get a shale mine going at some point. Yeah, true. We've got just over ten thousand gas sitting in the box, but that's only gonna yeah, it's fill really up the motorcycle. Ugh, I'll probably make the motorcycle. Because if I have to buy it, it'll take like almost all our money. I heard the um, the guy who made nitrogen is not updating it anymore. So I think yeah. it works with what we have now, but I, I doubt it's going to work for Alpha 20. It's getting more broken as time goes by. Just because it's not, uh, nobody's taking care of it. It's too bad. But a lot of the, a lot of the things that we want out of nitrogen um, are going to show up in... Uh, Alpha 20 anyways, assuming they get all of this updating to the random world generation completed. Uh, I'm a little jaded with their, with their random world generation. I'm going to take a I'll believe it when I see it stance. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Any plans on Imperion multiplayer? Yeah, maybe. If this uh, series does poorly and nobody watches it and we do something else, it, it, it was going to be either this or Imperion, so. I know that would make Madden very happy. Yeah, I'm always up for Imperion. Actually, of all the choices, this was my last. What were the other things we were looking at? Uh, Conan and Ark. Really? You'd rather do Conan or Ark than this? Yes. Like, this game just hasn't changed enough in the last few versions. It's just it's just yeah, the same true. thing over again. Okay, true. And we haven't checked out Conan and Ark in forever. Sure, but Conan and Ark is like a lot of like settings. We'd have to change like all the settings. It'd be such a pain in the ass. Yeah, I think those were the, the other three. Or was there a fourth? I know it was Empyrean, Conan, and Ark. Uh, I had mentioned uh, Osiris multiplayer. Well, what Osiris. Oh, yeah, could, that, that would be okay, too. I, I do play multiplayer right now. Um, it's, that I seems like you'd run out of stuff to do fast. Yeah, that one yes. seems lacking. Yeah, it's just not ready yet for... Uh, uh, long-term multiplayer. I just kind of mess around in it for now. Customers. I might have to buy that motorcycle. I think it's going to be pretty cheap. Yeah, it's 9,000. I mean, that's be stupid not to buy it. Yeah, they don't have qualities, right? No.
Are we done here? Silence is a mod, right? Yes, it is. Well, what kind of lousy customer are you, anyways? Good night, uh, drummer. first will I show you the turret before the stream what do you mean I'm stopping off the base. I'm done riding this piece of shit bike. <laughs> Except I don't know where the base is. Because uh, my sleeping bag isn't active there. I think I have an idea. Uh, Risha, are you at the base? I'm not, but I'm near it. Okay. You bought the turret, will you go in the POI and use it? It's just a... Oh, it is a robotic turret, I didn't realize. Um, nah. Nah, we'll, we'll do that. It'll give you a reason to come back next week. <laughs> Cliffhanger! For some reason, I'm really freaking tired. Is it 2 o'clock? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Wait, 2 o'clock. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... I got 7 hours of sleep, what the hell? Alright. Uh, nah, I gotta, I gotta hit the trader before my money thing wears off. I also marked the base. Thank you. No problem. That's where I thought it was. I didn't drink a monster, exactly. I swear, monsters should be paying you. Pig hammer. Because I was like, come on, man, just drink a monster. Come on, man, do it. It's what all the cool kids are doing. First one's free. He's a pusher. Yeah. Where'd you put the gas, Madden? Or where'd you see the gas? Whoever said there was yeah. gas. Gas is above vehicle's box right here. A little more than 10,000 in there.
I want an ibuprofen and monster. Not me, boxer mom. Another stranger in need? I've got what you're looking for. Thank you so much. Hey, come again. Thanks, guys. All right, let's go show off the horde base. This better be good. This better wow me. So let's set expectations. Broken. I can't ride my bike up it. <laughs> there we go. Oh. Now what? Look at this. Look at this broken horde base. What's up, Thomas? So the zombies come up here, and then they gotta jump over these things, and all the robot sledges will be here because this, this base is made of cheese. Right there, that's where the sledges go, and they have to jump over. They're just gonna get knocked off and never even get make it to us. Sledges can be replaced with uh, any other turret. I want the zombies to have a chance to make it to us, but this is multiplayer, so maybe I'm underestimating. Yeah, it might be uh, day seven, but with our combined game stage, uh, we're probably going to be surprised at what's coming at us for the first horde. All right. We better be. I better see some shenanigans. <laughs> or we'll just push you out of the horde base and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have time to be walking all the way around. Oof. <laughs> I think one more block and that would have been a hurt leg. Alright, let's go home and replace our bedroll. And then I think I'm going to call it a stream. Go watch some more Shameless and then go to bed. <laughs> oh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ballin put up a new video, so I got to check that out too. Right before bed. Perfect time to watch. Oh, it. yeah. And then I'll have to get up and make sure all the doors are locked because some psycho is going to try and kill me and my whole family. Please be careful, Pharaohs, and even cops will appear on the first one. No way, man. No way. I don't give these zombies any respect. <laughs> I spit on them in their weak hordes. I did find a lot of books at that house. 
Is that what I did there, Eugene? Yeah. Yeah, so that just ensures that they don't get snagged. And then I put a little bar here across the top of the walkway in. So when the hatch is up, it will uh, it will keep the dogs from being able to hop the uh, the hatch and get into us. So that just okay. needs to be upgraded too. And then there's thousands of cement just waiting for someone to do some upgrades. All right, stream, I am going to go lay down. Thank you for hanging out with me. Thank you for the super chats. Thank you for joining the cage crew. Make sure you like the video. It's not too late. And uh, if you guys got here late, you can watch the whole thing from the beginning. And I will see you guys on Saturday for some uh, Among Us. And that will be on Twitch. So see you there, everybody.